My name is Rhapsody, and are you ready? Am I ready? What even is ready? Ready. Able or willing to do something or be used immediately. Prepared. Alright. Naxxramas has been released, and save for the two or so hours that it was completely bugged on the NA server and no one could get in, or if they did get in, they'd get kicked back out. It's just about ready to time. Ready to time to start. Yep, fuck it. Solo Adventures has now replaced the practice mode, so... Guess that's the one we click on, right? Next Ramus. cannot be stopped. You are too late. Uh, well, okay. His preparations cannot be stopped. We are too late. Um, that's been Nax Ramus, the first wing, the arachnid quarter. I've been Raps. No, okay, fine. Let's actually see what happens if we try and pursue through his warnings. Kel'Thuzad's warnings, that is. How did you gain entrance to Nax Ramus? I clicked the button. Wasn't that difficult, to be honest. I didn't even have to pay 700 gold. Alright, arachnid quarter. Um, ah, yes, here are our rewards. The Haunted Creeper, a 1-2, two-cost beast with death rattle, summon two 1-1 spectral spiders. I imagine those are just blank 1-1s, uh, beast tokens, basically. It's kind of weird that this one is a beast, that one's not a beast, like... What defines whether a spider is a beast or not? I thought they were all arachnids, but... Apparently, some of them fall within the beast family as well. Uh, minions with battle cry cost two more. Okay. Uh, Nerubian Egg, Death Rattle. This is obviously one of the first cards of Naxxramas that was uh, released for actual public review. It's gonna... In my mind, I immediately looked at that and I was like, Ancient Watcher deck. Do you remember the Ancient Watcher Druid meta that was... Shit, was it always Druid? The Ancient Watcher meta that was ages and ages and ages ago it would probably be a month, month plus. Uh, where you'd get Ancient Watchers out early, put a Sun Fury Protector next to it, and suddenly you have a 4-5 with Taunt that your opponent has to deal with in some way. Either with strong removal, or just beating the fuck out of it. And it was really, really strong right up until, um... It was realized that you aren't producing a threat on the board. So, there's also that, and then the legendary for the wing is Maxna, I hope I am pronouncing that right, I am not exactly versed, or well versed rather, in Warcraft lore. Destroy any minion damaged by this minion, it's a 2-8 beast. I don't think that'll ever be useful, I think its stats are really shit, um, and that anything at about 8 health, usually you're just going to use hard removal on. Unless it's like a Snapjaw Turtle, so just in- basically you just have to treat it like it's a fucking 10-8. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's that bad. But I also don't think it's that good. So let's actually gain entrance to the Arachnid Quarter by using this Skeleton Key. Oh right, Skeleton Key. I get it. Alright, where are we? First boss. Anubricon is one of my finest spider lords. Good luck, interloper. Okay, so Anubricon has the ability, hero ability rather, two mana, skitter, hero powered, summon a 3-1 Nerubian. Now, since it has been about two hours since this has been released, I have seen a little bit of discussion of strategy. I believe that you're not supposed to use Miracle Rogue at all in any of these. But that's just not how we play. Miracle Rogue is the flavor of the month here at Rhapsody HQ, and I'm going to use it at the very least until I get proven that it's absolutely impossible to use in some of these matchups. And then I switch to something just to make the game much more easy for myself. Now, considering... Hmm. Oh, so... Oh, he does get a coin. Okay. Uh, d -d -d -d. I'm not certain if I'll need wide board clear, but I imagine if he's got a 2-mana 3-1 guy summoner, 
that he might be playing a lot of things around that. So I'm going to keep my board clear. Oh, good. Shiver's going to be really efficient removal for one of those. The pleasure is mine. It speaks. I will be your death. It speaks. Oh, okay. So it looks like he's just going to respond to everything I say with it speaks. Uh, interesting point for me to make is I'm not even certain I want to kill the haunted spider. Like, why would I? It's just giving him things. Alright. Um, hmm. Okay, so this is actually interesting. I can kill the, uh, Neruba Weblord by way of Blood Mage Thalmos into backstab, into hitting it with my face. Uh, huh. That's a pretty efficient removal. The thing is, am I scared of any of these minions? I don't have battle cry effects in this deck other than Azure Drake battle cry draw a card. I don't believe combo effects should be affected by that. I'm not certain, but... Hmm. Okay. Let's think about this. I could also backstab this, shiv one of them, and then hit the other. That's actually interesting. And the reason I'm going to be doing that play is because I kind of think, unless his deck is completely devoid of battle cries, that the Naruba Weblord will probably be bad for him as well. So now that that's dead, I'm going to remove its two... Ah, yes. Also, the reason I wanted to use the shiv and get the shiv out there as quickly as possible... Ah, fuck me. Um, okay, so I've got prep. So I'm setting up for a really good turn next turn. What do I do then? Hmm... Okay, so this will be a 3-3. Three, three. So I can kill it with the Deadly Poison Blade Flurry. So what I want to do is hit this. Yeah. I hit that. I make a dagger. I Deadly Poison it. And I end my turn. Next turn is going to be uh, summon the... Ooh. That's not good. That is not good. Okay. I got the best deal. Summon the gadgets and auctioneer. Prep. Draw a card. Ooh. Fuck. Shit dicks. All right. Uh, I want to hit the Death Lord with backstab, but then I won't be able to afford Blade Flurry. Is Blades... If I... Oh my god. This might be a really dumb moment. But it says, my next spell, I cast this turn costs three less. So this still costs zero. But if I cast a zero cost card, do I still get the discount on my next card? I don't think so. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna play it safe and do it... The correct way. Alright. Oh, come on. Closer now, tasty morsels. So at the very least, next turn, we can draw two cards by way of Blood Mage Thalnos and Fan of Knives. Um, and we'll also get a free minion out on the board. So what's our free minion gonna be? Nice, nice. Um, unfortunately, I do not get its battle cry effect. That's a little saddening. I do have to keep the rest of my kind of cheap things in my hand so that I can get my next gadgets and auctioneer and actually perform the miracles. Stop with the fucking shadow bolts, dick. Hmm. Okay, so prep means that I can use some of my stuff. So, 
I'm going to use Sinister Strike, kill that, and I believe I'm going to have to also knife up next turn. Sorry, dagger up. So I'll be also using that. Okay, so the Shade of Max Rams. What? Excuse me? Are you a mage now? Why Frostbolt, please? But why though Frostbolt? Ah. ah. Alright, so I can get a lot of things done right now. If I draw into the best things. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did I fuck up? I think I might have fucked up. Okay, free eviscerate to the face. That's good. Oh, good. There's the conceal. Okay, so now I don't have to worry about my mana usage as much. Uh, I do not have another blade flurry, but I do want to draw into my deck, so I'm fine with doing that. Fine with hitting the face. Fine with giving you cold blood. And let's end all that off with a nice conceal, shall we? So, barring any bullshit, uh, we should have lethal next turn. Yeah, no, I can sap that. So I can sap double Leroy for the kill. Done. Well played. It speaks. Stop fucking telling me it speaks! I'm well aware! Da -da 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 -da. Uh, that should only be two health left. I'll just kill him with the Sinister Strike. Yay! Yay. <laughs> First time, beat Anubrakan. Now, very specifically, I've heard that... Irrelevant. <laughs> Irrelevant. I will defeat the Grand Willow. Willow? Widow? Apparently, I'm not a master of the English language as far as I thought that I am. Now, who are you? Faelina is training Faelina. to worship me. Her job is very important. Do not disturb her. Okay. You know, I think ignoring his advice so far has worked out well for me. So, Reign of Fire. Fire a missile for each card in your opponent's hand. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with no, versing that with Miracle. Miracle seems like it would get shat on by that, because Miracle likes to keep a lot of cards in its hand. So, I'm going to reconfigure my Rosh Hashu deck. Um, hmm, what can I drop here? I want to drop one card. Harvest Golem sticks to the board, he's really nice. What can I drop? Because I want to put in a... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Leroy Jenkins. So where am I going to put in this Leroy Jenkins? I'm thinking I take out an Argent Commander. That drops the deck cost. But it also leaves me without some of my burst damage. And that's what I often do. Tap for that burst damage just to finish the game. Um... <clears throat> I don't like it. Alright, I'm going to take out one of the Mortal Coils. How many one health things are there going to be? I think I might take out the second Mortal Coil for a Power Overwhelming. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'll come back to that just in case I lose this match against Faelina. Alright, Faelina. Are you ready for nothing like a miracle? I'm going to use Rush Zoo. <sighs> Getting in the mood and experimenting on minions. Don't let Naxxramas bosses get you down. Build a custom deck to crush them. I think I'll just go with the old meta and see if that works. Uh, another thing that I am worried about is... What if I don't have a shitty hand? Oh, that's a shitty hand. Alright. Fuck. Uh, okay, so... 
I need the Void Walker there to protect anything important that I get out, like a knife juggler. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, I can empty my hand really quickly with this, and that's going to be really important against Rain of Fire. So, she would have to coin... Yeah, no, I want to get the damage in. She would have to coin Rain of Fire in order to fire three missiles, and I believe, just reading that, that it would work like arcane missiles, and it would fire them... Do you want to take your turn? I greet you. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I was about to say. It seems a little bugged. Sorry, what? Why? Why, though? Charge Death Rattle. Three, <laughs> deal three damage to your hero. That is going to be in every single fucking... Oh, is that actually going to be available as a card? I'm not certain. If it is, that will be in every Zoo deck ever. Alright, we are having some delay issues. As you can see from the multiple clicking of the end turn, and the fact that the Grand Widow Fairlina does not see fit to begin her turn yet. I love the kind of darker aesthetic of the board. I want to see if I can find any of the secrets I can do with the thing. Okay, so I can knock that about. Oh, can I burst these? Totally can. Spiders come out. Hmm. Seems like she doesn't have any minions she wants. <laughs> Everything is very, very delayed right now. Alright. Oh, dear God. Thank you. Now, the only reason I'm fine with tapping and drawing another card is because I know I can immediately play one. If it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't actually make this turn. Make this move. Because I do not want to have cards in my hand. I am actually considering the play of Leroy Jenkins next turn. Because I kind of want to empty my hand. Well, I definitely want to empty my hand before I play the Doom God. And it would just be a tragedy. Da -da 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 tragedy. To actually discard Leroy Jenkins via... Eh. Yeah, via the... Ah, Doom God, Jesus Christ, Ryan, words. <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, this laggy match of Hearthstone brought to you by Rhapsody. Two liters of caffeine and two hours of sleep. As you command. Dear fucking God, this is the laggiest thing ever. Uh, all right. Would this require internet access? Is it possible that my internet is fucking me over here? Alright, that's... No, does it not appear to be. My internet seems fine. Oh, Blizzard. You guys. You what? You fucker! You did what now? Okay. Suddenly, I want to just rush for the face. So I've got... Uh, actually, I think rushing for the face might be really, really viable right now. Especially because I still have two soul fires in my deck. I can just force him to deal with the stuff on my board. I have nine damage on the board right now, and I have five in hand. So... I think I might just, yeah. God fucking damn it, the lag. I think I might just play this like a face hunter, where I just ignore the board entirely and just go for the face, 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 go for the face. Now, he can clear my board, but he has to use literally all of his minions to do it. Oh, shit. If Reign of Fire is directed, then he can almost clear my board just with Reign of Fire, and that would be frustrating. It looks like Reign of Fire is directed. Uh, at least I have chicken. <clears throat> at least I have chicken. 
Now, one good thing about uh, casting the Doom Guard actually is the Doom Guard is going to put me in a position where I have fewer cards in hand, which is going to be very good against all of the bullshit that is happening with Grand Widow Faelina over here. Oh dear God, Anubrakan wasn't doing this, was he? I don't remember that happening. Yeah, hit the face. There we go. Now she'll only get off one directed, directed missile apparently, so that's a total of what I can see to be seven damage. Uh, and then two damage from the fact that she has the worshippers. So nine. Oh shit. Oh, that makes twelve. Alright, draw two cards, that's fine. Oh no. Oh no. That's 13. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh no, wait. It's not 13 because she can't use Risk of Fire. Fuck, do I just win? Surely you would do all of that before attacking with the Worshipper and then decide to clear the Doom Guard if you have to? Nope. Apparently not. I'm just gonna kill the whelp. <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Perfect. Oh god. Alright, you'll have to pardon me for a second. I am gonna have to figure out these lag issues, because this is just atrocious. There's actually three or four seconds between when I cast something, or when I attack something, and when the attack goes through. Grand Widow Fairlina. She means nothing. Spider Queen will dispatch you okay. So we've now got the Naruba Weblord. Minions with Battle Cry cost two more. Very nice. Alright, I'm gonna go check out what's happening and then come back and click on that. Alright, I've had a look around. Doesn't appear to be any connectivity issues on my side. <laughs> Shit. I just spoke over him pronouncing the name of the enemy. Uh, Webwrap. Return a random enemy minion to your opponent's hand. So I'm gonna go with Zoo against this one as well. Reason being, returning a, say, concealed gadget Zen to my hand, since it says random, it's non-targeted. Well, it would make me feel really sad. Oh dear god. That was a long time loading. I'm starting to look- starting to feel like this might, uh... <clears throat> might have similar issues to that first match. Okay, so one really good thing about playing Zoo against this deck is that... Oh dear god. That is slow. One good thing about playing Zoo against this deck is that returning a minion to my hand is usually beneficial to me. Her poison will make your death mostly painful. Yeah, it's usually beneficial to me. I don't really have too many high cost minions, and the high cost minions I do have, I'd love to cast again, because they've got charge. That's a Doom Guard, Doom Guard, uh, fucking Leroy Jenkins, uh, what else? It doesn't have charge, but the uh, Defender of Argus gives plus one, plus one, and taunt to either side of it. Perfect. Oh, no. Okay, so it's a little bit quicker than it was before, but it's still very, very slow. I greet you. <clears throat> oh, man. Are you going to do that for the hero power? Oh, Emperor Cobra. Um, oh, it would be a crying shame if I discarded uh, Leroy Jenkins. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it would be it would be too bad for me to discard Leroy Jenkins. So I'm actually going to. There we go. Ah, good work. You caught on to what I wanted you to do. Perfect. I'm just going to maximize the amount of damage output that I can actually get in here. Next turn is actually likely to be Leroy Jenkins. 
I believe that the two are summoned before I throw my dagger. So I should have a chance at actually... What do you call a player who just had his minion webbed? Doomed. I'm not feeling particularly doomed, Gelthazard. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. Uh, okay. I'm thinking I just keep going for the face until I actually run up against some opposition here. Uh-huh. And then cross that down. Because it currently stands that I have 10 damage in hand and <laughs> 9 damage on the board. So if he doesn't cast a taunt... Uh... Yeah, if he doesn't cast a taunt, he loses. <laughs> uh, I believe heroic mode is actually apparently absolutely killer. Well oh, actually, I have 20 damage if I put in the Leroy Jenkins in the correct As position. You and 21 if you the command. knife juggler is so kind as to hit the face with his dagger as well. So it definitely looks like Zoo is the way you're going to want to go with this one, if you're watching this before having played it yourself. Definitely looks like Zoo is the way you want to go. Oh, perfect! So they are summoned before he does his dagger throw. So you do have a chance of taking one of them out. That's nice to know. That's one of those ni nice, neat little interactions I'd like to know about. So there goes Maxino. Maxino? Maxino. Spider Lady. Impossible. This is not over, puny mortal. So I've got my Nerubian eggs. Nice. I'm feeling very, very happy about that. Is it time to get my legendary? Oh, it definitely is. You think that card will help you? You are sorely mistaken. Considering my actual evaluation of the card, I think I would be sorely mistaken to believe that. Ah, class challenges. Hmm. All right. Where are these class challenges? Ah, perfect. They're sitting right there. That'll be it for this video. We are going to be taking on the class challenges next time. For the moment though, hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you liked the video, click like. If you've disliked the video, click dislike. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel. Up until next time, I've been Rhapsody. That's been Hearthstone, the first adventure. Nax Ramus, the first quarter. Quarter? The first wing. No, because there's five. The first wing, the arachnid wing. And hopefully you've been enjoying yourself.